All right, it's Johnny P, and we're back at Chiller, and I'm proud to be standing next to two of the icons of the uh, 70s hit TV series, The Brady Bunch. I got Mike Lookaland and Susan Olsen, who played Bobby and Sidney Brady. How are you guys? Hey, we're doing well. What's it's nice on? to see you. How are you? Susan, Thank what's you. going on? What's going on with you guys these days? This is the most time I've ever spent uh, next to the bar without having a drink. <laughs> we've been we've been standing next to this bar for two days straight now, yep. watching That's a people good thing. behind us get drunk. Yeah, but we're we're at work, so we're not drinking. <laughs> well, listen, I used to watch you guys every Friday night, Brady Bunch and the Departures family. Uh -huh. That's right. I'm a drummer, so I I love the Departures families, but I love the Brady Bunch. Sure. So I mean, with you, my first question is, how was it working with Joe Namath? Joe Namath was fabulous. He was very mellow, very laid back, you know. He, he was professional, he did his job, right? Yeah. That's what you gotta do. I'm a big Jets fan, but the Jets only don't win that much, unfortunately. Well, I'm a Raiders fan, so don't, don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. I like the Steelers. Yeah, they, now, they did okay last year. <laughs> now, Susan, what's your fondest memories of the Brady Bunch? Oh, gosh, um, probably traveling, you know, whenever we got to leave our cocoon of a of a set at paramount lot and go to hawaii or the grand canyon that was always the most fun i think the hawaii ones were, were my favorites what did you have four episodes or, well, how many episodes three three I mean, okay three parters remember with the, the taboo yeah and, and all the crazy the tiki idol yeah the tiki yeah now how many days did that actually take to shoot when you were out there I think 10. We were in Hawaii for 10, and then we came back and did some other stuff back in Hollywood, like the cave where Vincent Price tied us okay. up. Uh, that was in LA. Yeah, Vincent so, Price, class so it act. Was, it was probably uh, about three weeks altogether for those three episodes. Now, when the, when the show was going to be ending, what was all the mixed feelings that were going on for you guys? Are you were still young yet? We've been at it for five years straight mm -hmm. and hadn't had a summer vacation for five years. and. Um, so there was sort of a sense of, of relief, uh, you know, we're going to have, you know. Neither one of us were crying, okay? We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll have a break. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're going to get a break from the Brady Bunch, but you know what? We, we've never had a break from the Brady Bunch, yeah. and that was 40 years ago. It's never, it's never, it's never gone away, well, as you well know. Yeah, well, well, this is the deal. Uh, I'm sure you guys know all the guys and what's happening. Yeah. Ernest Thomas. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hey, when, Show. Yes, well, Haywood Nelson, Danielle Spencer, all good friends of mine. I actually met them here years ago. Yeah. I was on the phone with Haywood last night and I told him I was coming down here. He told me to tell everybody hello. Oh, I love Haywood. Tell him hello. And Danielle Spencer yes. is a vet, a veterinarian, and I have used her. I, I do cat rescue. Oh, really? So, yeah. Crazy cat lady. Yeah. Well, that's a good we thing. That. Yeah, we say that fondly, with great fondness. <laughs> Well, we were all talking recently, everybody at CTV, at Staten Island Community Television, they got all pictures of all the 70s and the 80s sitcoms, uh -huh. including the Brady Bunch, and they, the topic was, there's, there hasn't been great TV series in, in about 20 years. Everything's all reality now, yeah. or some kind of nonsense. You think that'll ever come back? I'm gonna quote you on that. Every, or some kind or of some nonsense. Kind of nonsense. Yeah, that's, it's mostly yeah. some kind of nonsense, nonsense isn't exactly. it? Yeah. My, I've heard my mother say to people over and over again in, in describing our show that it was one of the last shows where the people all treated each other with respect. With yes. respect. And yes. how and important the is that to teach your children? You want to yeah. teach your children to act like the idiots on TV? No. Or you want to teach them to act like the Brady's? Now, the Brady Bunch wasn't real, you know, and it wasn't, it, it, you can't say that that's how life really is, but we treated each other with respect, so there's some lessons, you know. It was an ideal. No, it's definitely a good show for the kids to watch, yeah. to learn the morals. I think it was good for parents, though, too, because yeah. another secret ingredient about the show that worked is that the parents respected the kids, too. I mean, a lot of our guys from our generation, families, mothers, fathers, we all got the box sets. So whether we show them to our kids yeah. or we show them to our friends' kids, they're like, yeah, let's show them the, the Brady Bunch, the Partridge family. Who's that? Don't worry about it. Just watch just it. It's a good watch. show. Yeah. And then they watch it. you know, they'll be a fan. Yeah, and then yeah. they like it, right. which is a good thing. Yeah, it's so, fun. What's in the plan for you guys? Any websites you want to tell anybody out there? Um, PreciousPaws.org. That is the animal rescue that I'm on the board of directors for. Um, Good. Go check out the site, and if you have any nasty, dirty old money laying around that you don't play with anymore, give, give it, it to, to us. Yeah. Exactly. 
Well, you know, kibble doesn't grow on trees, and we're, we're supporting a lot of animals. I make fancy concrete in Salt Lake City. I'm a concrete contractor in Salt Lake. Are you? Yeah, but I don't do flat work. We make furniture and countertops, pretty stuff. Listen, I'm an old-time plasterer. Yeah, great. Old school. Cool. Yeah. Economy's bad, but that's what I do. Water, cement and water, baby. That's all, that's all you need. Well, listen, Mike, it was my pleasure meeting you finally. And Susan, Thanks, Johnny. hope we can be friends, and I'll see you guys in the future. Okay, okay great. Let's get back to Chilla, 2011.